Things you didn't know you could make with Canva, part five. Canva is a great place for creating digital planners for your personal use or even to sell. You'll start by either creating or finding a cover design. I get a lot of my graphics from the website Creative Fabrica because most of the content there comes with commercial usage rights and you can use them to sell your own content. And then you'll begin assembling your planner. You can add an at-a-glance calendar, a holiday list, maybe a birthday list, even some quotes, and you'll do a monthly page. This right here is just a table that's in Canva. You'll go to Elements and click where it says Tables and add that to your page, and then just enter the dates for that month. There's also a section here I added for Reminders and Notes. You can also put a weekly planner list together, even a month in review section. I also recommend adding a notes section to your planner. This is very easy to do. You'll just add a line to your page and then duplicate it. You wanna line it up so it's in line with the top one, and then you're just going to hit Command D or Control D on your keyboard until you have lines all the way down the page. Don't worry if they don't line up properly from left to right because you can simply highlight them all, click on those three dots, and select Align Elements. When all of your pages are assembled, it will make up your full planner. When your planner is finished, you want to download it as a PDF because that's going to be the best format for your digital planner. So just change it to PDF and click download. Your planner is now ready for use. You can print it out or use it in an app like GoodNotes. And you can also upload it to websites like Etsy to sell it for passive income.